Hi, welcome back to our video blog. I'm Kathy Toth, CEO of Toth Team Worldwide Network of KW here at Lake Travis in Austin, where I've been attending advanced coaches skills class with worldwide leaders. And today we're excited to talk about Zillow. Before we begin, let's draw your attention to two important links. Um, first, if you're looking for home value, click on the home value link. And if you're looking to buy, click on the buy homes link, which is updated real time. Now, on to our topic of Zillow. Here are three things to look out for when using non-MLS sites like Zillow. Number one, properties listed for sale. Many properties on these sites may have sold months ago. And you know how frustrating that is to find your perfect home only discovering that it's no longer for sale, not fun. Number two, correct information. People are finding that details such as lot sizes, home interior size, number of bedrooms are often inaccurate from old tax records and this will pose a challenge when trying to find that house that meets your needs. So number three, home valuations. For cookie cutter neighborhoods, Zillow may give you a starting point only. You see, they don't know about the upgrades you've made, the repairs that you've done, let alone the neighborhood and particular school. So let's face it, the Zestimate is fun and in an accurate Zestimate could end up costing you money. Zillow says the Zestimate is not an appraisal and you won't be able to use it in place of an appraisal, though you can certainly share it with your real estate professionals. It's a computer generated estimate of the worth of the house today given the available data. Zillow does not offer the Zestimate as a basis of any specific real estate related financial transaction and the data sources may be incomplete, incorrect. Also, they have not physically inspected a specific home. Remember, the Zestimate is a starting point and does not consider all the market intricacies that can determine the actual price a house will sell for. According to Zillow CEO Spencer Raskoff, he said that they're a good starting point, but that the nationwide Zestimate have been a median error rate of 8%, as reported in the LA Times, March 6, 2016. On a $500,000 house, that would be a $40,000 disparity. $40,000, ouch. Those are three compelling reasons to call us as your real estate experts to get accurate and up-to-date real estate information with experienced realtors who know what the competition looks like. We use absorption rates and trend reports from local appraisers to determine where the market is going, and this data changes monthly and must be interpreted by the experienced professionals to accurately assess the value. As well, we can talk about a second opinion from an appraiser. And did you also know that realtors who contribute information to the MLS can be fined for providing incorrect or inaccurate information? And this gives realtors the best information possible. As always, if you want the best information for your experienced realtors, we are here to add value and be a valuable resource for your real estate needs. If you're looking to help without high pressure sales tactics, we'd love to hear from you. We want to make sure you move at your own pace and make the best decisions for you and your family. Just tune in to radio stations 102.9 FM or 107.1 with Martin Van Dyke or call or shoot us an email. We'd love to help.